Hi, welcome to today's video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ashley. I'm glad you're here today. If you are not new, thank you so much for coming back. Um, I wanted to make this video because obviously this is a very devastating thing. Um, and it explains my absence on YouTube over the last month. I guess I've just been putting it off. It's easy to type. If you're friends with me, if you follow me on Instagram, then you already know. Um, but sitting down to film about it is just a little bit harder. I tried earlier today, and I'm just realizing that Mabel's, I guess for all intents and purposes, her birth story is still very precious and holy to me and I'm just not ready to share as much as I thought I was. So I'm coming here today to let you all know that um, we lost our baby girl, our Mabel Jane. Uh, we found out that she had passed, that she had died on September 28th. Um, her body had stopped growing about two and a half weeks before that. And this has just been one of the hardest, most heartbreaking, devastating things that we have ever had to walk through. But I also want to let you know that I'm okay. Um, in fact, I'm better than okay. I'm good. I'm good. God has been so merciful. He has been so good to me and so kind to me. And I have felt so much love and so much support from my family and from my friends and I'm so sad and I miss my daughter so much. I miss her so much, um, but I really am okay. I really am okay. Um, I don't, I guess I, I really thought I was gonna come on here and just tell you all about, you know, how we found out and, well, you know, when when my body miscarried her, when, when she was born and um, all of these things and I just, I've just realized that I just don't feel ready to share that yet. Um, I heard her heartbeat for the last time on, let's see, that would have been September 11th. September 11th was the last day that I heard her heartbeat. I should have been 11 weeks pregnant. The ultrasound showed that sh her body had stopped growing at 10 weeks and four days. Um, obviously there can be some variance in growth and, and dates and all of that, but I believe that her body had also obviously begun to slow down. Um, she was not growing as she should, which is why she um, measured smaller than I would have expected uh, when she passed. I think it's likely that when I heard her heartbeat on September 11th, that was probably the last day she was alive. Um, I'm very thankful for that precious memory of getting to hear her heart and for her to feel that love that I had for her, that joy over her heartbeat on what I think was probably her last day um, is a precious memory to me. But I began uh, spotting and bleeding on September 28th and um, she was born on September 29th. And I hope to be able to share more with you in the future, more details. I have friends who've walked through miscarriages before me, so I had people to help me to understand what to expect. Uh, the, the doctor in the ER was useless um, in that regard, so I'm thankful for the friends that I had who could um, help me be prepared. Um, and I hope to be able to share more details in the future because I think that that could be valuable um, for other women walking the same path. Um, I would love to share more with you in the future about the incredible truths and the incredible things that God has shown me through all of this. I used to wonder how people survived losing a baby, um, even early on. And now I wonder how people survive without without knowing God. And I'm not just talking about, you know, trusting in, in seeing my daughter again in eternity. I'm talking about the comforting presence of the Holy Spirit on me and with me 
through the whole thing. It was so impactful to my faith and my walk with the Lord in ways that I will forever be grateful for. Um, and I will share more. I will share more in the future, but right now I've just realized it's still too precious and too holy to me um, to just kind of put it out there like that. Uh, if we were sitting face to face, just one on one, then I think I would happily share it all with you. Um, but the internet's, you know, kind of the wild, wild west, and I just am not there yet. <laughs> I'm just not ready to share those deep, intimate things um, so widely. But I will. I will someday. Um, so I'm okay. We're okay. We're good. It's been really hard. I didn't realize how physically painful it could be when your heart is completely broken. But my body and my heart are healing. Um, and God is good all the time. All the time. Uh, Mabel Jane. Mabel means lovable. And she's very loved. And Jane means Yahweh is merciful. And he is. He is. And he has been. And he will be. Um, so I just wanted to share with you uh, that our girl has left us. Thank you guys for being here. I'm going to be getting back to regularly scheduled programming here um, pretty quickly. Um, I have missed being in this space with you guys so um, I'm actually jumping back in. We're gonna we're gonna go for those two videos a week guys. I really am. <laughs> But thank you for being here. Until next time, be blessed, be a blessing, and remember that you are very, very blessed.